Hello my dear family members, I have been observing that throughout the last week Accenture has not asked any dynamic programming problem in advanced coding section. I think this is for physical assessment, by the way be prepared for that also right. Now in this video we will discuss an advanced coding questions which was asked on Accenture on campus drive 25th September 2023. So give importance to that. But before we proceed to the question, I would request you to please watch the playlist regarding Accenture on campus coding question and please subscribe and share this content with your friends. So the question is regarding equilibrium index, right? You are given an array of integers and equi an equilibrium index of this array is an index such that the sum of elements at lower indexes is equal to the sum of elements at higher indexes. Your task is to write a function to find the equilibrium index of the given array. Write a function find equilibrium index error that takes an integer array error as input and returns the equilibrium index if one exists, right? Or minus one if there is no equilibrium index, right? So if there, here is the input format that is an integer array error of length n and constraints are given. Uh, follow that output format is this. Return the equilibrium index and integer if one exists or minus one if there is no equilibrium index, right? Note that if there are multiple equilibrium indices, return the one with the lowest index, right? And here are the sample inputs and outputs. So minus seven, one, five, two, minus four, three, zero, this is the array. And the output is three, how I am explaining. Actually the uh, zero, one, two, three, right? So this is the indices where equilibrium, which is equilibrium index. How the left sum that means minus 7 plus 1 plus 5 is equal to minus 4 plus 3 plus 0, right? That's why this is equilibrium indices, right? And in this case also, the indices is 1. That means the equilibrium index is 1. Index number 1 is this. That means the equilibrium index. So left sum is equal to right sum. That's why this is equilibrium index. So 14 is equal to this part. That means 5 plus 1, 6 plus 3, 9 plus 4, 13 plus 1. That is 14. So that's why this is the equilibrium index. So I hope you got the logic, right? So if you understood the logic, then start solving the question. If you could not solve, then come to watch, right? Otherwise, this will not help in your exam, right? Okay, let's start with the solution. What should be our approach to the solution? We can take the total sum of the array and in a for loop, we can, we can keep reducing the total sum by uh, ith element of array and then we can add the same element uh, with the left sum and then if we can check if the total sum is equal to left sum then uh, we can say that this is the equilibrium index right otherwise we will return minus one right okay let's see so at first define the function so find equilibrium array as an argument and initialize uh, the total sum which will calculate the total sum of the array elements right so total sum is equal to sum of array and initialize the left sum to 0 right left sum is equal to 0 and now run a for loop to uh, iterate through all element of array right so for i in range length of error now reduce the total sum by the current element right so current element of array right so that is um, total sum minus is equal to the current element of array so that means the zeroth position at the first right now check if the left sum and right sums are equal if that then return the current index as the equilibrium index right so for that if uh, left sum is equal to is equal to total sum which is being treated as right, right sum here right and uh, if this happen then return i right that is the equilibrium index and if not then update the left sum i mean add the current element right okay now 
out of the for loop just return the minus 1 that means there are no equilibrium index found right for checking if more than one equilibrium index present or not take an if block i am giving you this task to you i am not doing it here right okay let's uh, take the driver code then i hope this will be fine so let, let's take the array list map int input dot split right okay now just print the function value that is find equ equ equilibrium right so error okay let's run the code then see if this is right or not so minus seven one five two right uh, minus seven one five two minus four three zero and output should be three right and the output is three as expected let's run again and for the second input that is 14 2 5 1 3 4 1 right the output should be one that means the index number one is the equilibrium index so the output is one right so i hope you got the logic Right. So if you face any problem in this code then please let me know I will give you the solution in the comment section or if you want me to solve the question in Java then I would request you to please convert this in Java right because you have understood the logic right. So if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding Accenture on campus coding question and please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this for their exam right. So thank you for today's session.